Second pitch is going to be Sky to deep left center field, giving chase to the center fielder. Godrick, he's over the wall. Did he come down with the ball? He did. A great play by Billy Godrick to rob a home run. Andrew Turner was a foot and a half away from home run number three. Billy Godrick said, no, sir. Farrow, as we mentioned in his one and one third innings pitched, has a pretty whopping ERA already. That could extend as he pitches that one. It gets by the catcher. Coming in is Godrick. He'll slide and be in there safely with the first run of this ball game. It's four to one. LIU Brooklyn zip here in the pound standing in his way. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Ball's in the dirt. He'll have to get tossed on to first to complete the strikeout, which it does. And a one through two three inning for Anthony DiMeglio sends LIU Brooklyn down in order. The Fordham pen. The 1-2 pitch is cut on and missed for the final out of the top of the third inning. So the count's full, 3-2, two, two gone, runner at third. Stankiewicz steals, breaking ball, swung on and missed. And down goes LIU Brooklyn again without a run. Garcia faces the 0-1 pitch and he wraps it into right center field. Going back into his left is the center fielder Godrick and he puts it away. Another great catch by Billy Godrick out in center. Boy, can he field his position. Savit deals the 1-1. It's gonna be sliced past the outstretched glove of the second baseman and into right field. Rounding and scoring is Godrick. It's an RBI single for Alvin Melendez and Fordham takes the 2-0 lead here in the bottom half of the fifth. After it and couldn't handle it. The 0-2 pitch is a breaking ball. It's a ball, but he throws on to second. The call at second base is, a sh is an out. Curcio takes about a lead and a half. He's gonna go, breaking ball, call the ball, throw on to second, in time on the high chest tag. Your guess is as good as mine. I do not read novels as often as you think as Kyle Martin sends Piotti down swinging. Two game here in the bottom half of the 10th inning. The pitch to Melendez is gonna be grounded past the diving third baseman, fielded by the shortstop, that is the game. No play on the runner at first, and Alvin Melendez, he gave up the game-tying run in the ninth, but he gets it back here in the bottom half of the 10th inning. Fordham, the 3-2 winners against LIU Brooklyn. We're here with sophomore Alvin Melendez following the Rams walk-off 3-2 win over the Blackbirds of LIU Brooklyn. Alvin, you came in in the ninth from right field to try to close out the game. Can't get the save, but you come through with the game-winning hit there in the bottom of the 10. Talk about that last at-bat and what you were looking for. Uh, I mean, he fell behind 2-0 on me. So, you know, it's 2-0 count, man, on third base. I'm, I'm sitting on a fastball. You know, I'm hoping I get one, drive it. Throws me two straight sliders, take, figure, you know, I'll just uh, grind the at-bat out 2-2. Two, two. He throws me another slider, and I was able to put it in play and beat the play, and we won. So I'm very fortunate for that. Team through 11 games. This is your guys' sixth win of the season so far, off to a really good start. Uh, but one of the big things has been the aggressiveness on the base pads today. The team racks up eight stolen bases. You had three of them today. You know, what? what is the mindset of this team when you get those runners on base? Is it always to be that aggressive on the base pads? Uh, it's absolutely to be that aggressive. You know, that's the way we play. That's our style. Uh, our guys are fast, and we want extra bases. When you get extra bases, you get more runs, and that's the way you win games. More runs, more wins. We're here with sophomore Billy Godrick of the Fordham baseball team found their walk-off win over LIU Brooklyn on Wednesday afternoon. Billy, you came up with a couple hits uh, offensively, score a couple runs, but defensively three big catches in center field, the one right away in the first inning where you almost go through the wall. Talk about your thought process as that ball's carrying to the wall. It went up, uh, went carried it a little bit, uh, but uh, Colton Snelling out there gave me a great call when the wall was coming and we timed it up perfectly. So a lot of credit to him on that play there. Two wins here at home. You know, what does that do early on for the tone of this team to get those early home wins and, you know, picking up two out of three against James Madison against good quality teams moving forward? That's uh, huge. You know, last year we had a pretty slow start and getting out fast this year is huge. We, we hate to lose here. We refuse to lose here. So uh, we plan to keep that up. All right. Well, congratulations on the win today, Billy, and good luck against Coppin State. Thank you.